go the whole thing because, I mean, it's not my workout to give out. If it was mine, then I'm sure you would have, but I'm not sure if people, if, if, if he wants everybody knowing what he does on a daily basis or how he works out. Um, I can't. I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, what so, time are you up in the morning? The workout starts at 5 a.m. Starts at 5 on the dot. Not 5.01, not 4.59, 5 a.m. You can't be pulling in the, in the parking lot at 5 a.m. It's like, you, get to, you, you probably got there at 4.30. I was a little, I was still sleepy when he came to pick me up, so I didn't know exactly the time. But we, we, uh, we definitely got there around like 4.30. We're warm and we started to work out the lift at 5. And then uh, it's, it's it's a tough lift for sure. It's, it's uh, mostly like core, um, pushing yourself to exhaustion, and then seeing what you can do after that. Um, and then after that, it's onto the court, the court workout, where I was saying he put himself through every situation that he could possibly be in the game, every double team, triple team. It was, I mean, it's different. It's different one on one. One on three, like it's it's, it's just different. Um, and then of course he has he has a family, so um, he goes home, um, tends to them, and you know be with them, still be a father. But um, kind of seeing like he gets his work done early, and now he has the rest of the day to to, to be um, a dad, a family member, a brother, whatever whatever the case may be, and then we go back in the afternoon. Yo, be back at your boy Carl Anthony. So, you saw in that clip, Patrick Williams of Chicago Bulls talks about DeMar DeRozan's mama-like mentality. Now, of course, he didn't say that, but I'm I'm going to to put that in there on my own because we all know that, like me, DeMar DeRozan is a is a a Kobe lineage. You know, he's from the lineage of, of the bean. You know, he's a, he's from the cloth of of the Kobster. Rest in peace. Uh, Kobe is my favorite player of all time. I didn't say he was the best, but he's definitely my favorite of all time. Mike is the GOAT, then Kobe. But needless to say, um, DeMar DeRozan this year, this or well, this past season, played like he never played before. Was he like a year 10 or something like that? And I didn't even know he had this much game in it. Now, I've, I've always knew he's had, he's had the, you know, the capabilities and the, and the potential to be a great player. But this year, he took it to another level. He was MVP-esque. And to hear Patrick Williams talk about their 5 a.m. specific workouts that they were doing in the offseason. And it just it just reminds me of Kobe and and. If you know anything about DeMar DeRozan, you know that he is also one of the one of the few Kobe athletes on the Nike roster. And um, you know, and they just renewed his contract recently over the summer. So I am interested in seeing how well DeMar plays this year. It's a sad thing that I just found out that the Lonzo Ball may may miss the entire season. He can't run or jump off his uh, off the bad knee. So, I really feel like if Lonzo was playing, the Bulls could go pretty far in the playoffs. Uh, they need that type of point guard to really get that team moving how they should. And, you know, I'm from Chicago. I'm born and raised here. I actually got, I'm part of a season ticket team. Um, I got like four games this season that I'm going to see. And I might go see uh, the Bulls play against Orlando Magic. Floor seasons, Zach. But, um, you know, I want to see Paolo and uh, uh, Cole Anthony. So, oh, and, and RJ Hampton or whatever his name is. So, but this year, I'm not really a big Bulls fan, even though I've lived here all my whole life. But, look, I'm still a Bulls fan. I'm still pulling for him. You know, Zach Levine is my one of my favorite players as well. I'm hoping that he he really breaks out this year, that he doesn't have any injuries to sideline him. Let's see where the Bulls going to go. But what are your thoughts on DeMar DeRozan? Like, were you guys, like, always DeMar DeRozan fans? Did you know that he was as good as he was this past year? Um, 
Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe.